A woman's life was made absolutely miserable by her husband's other woman. But when she went to pray, she was accused of being drunk in God's house and told by the priest to get out. It seemed that no matter where she turned, she was judged and condemned. This isn't from some soap opera or TV drama. It's from the Bible. There was a man in Israel named Elkanah who had two wives, Hannah and Penina. Penina had children, but Hannah was not able to. When Elkanah and his family went to offer sacrifices in the tabernacle in Shiloh, Elkanah made sure that Hannah got special treatment, like extra portions of the sacrificial meal, to console her for her lack of children. But Penina would mock and ridicule Hannah for being infertile. Every year, on their way to the tabernacle for the sacrifices, it was the same situation. Penina teasing and taunting Hannah until Hannah was reduced to tears. Why are you crying, Hannah? Elkanah would ask. Why aren't you eating? Why be downhearted just because you have no children? You have me. Isn't that better than having ten sons? One day, after going to a sacrificial ceremony, Hannah got up to go pray near the tabernacle. Eli, the priest, was sitting near the entrance and noticed Hannah there. Her heart was broken at this point, and she begged God to give her the ability to have children. She even made a vow to God that if he gave her a son, she would dedicate him as a servant of God for his whole life. Eli, the priest, was watching as she prayed. Her mouth was moving, but Hannah was not speaking out loud, only praying in her thoughts. Must you come here drunk? he demanded. Throw away your wine. Oh no, sir, she replied. I haven't been drinking wine or anything stronger, but I am very discouraged and I was pouring out my heart to the Lord. Don't think I am a wicked woman, for I have been praying out of great anguish and sorrow. In that case, Eli said, go in peace. May the God of Israel grant the request you have asked of him. Thank you, sir, she said. No longer feeling quite so sad, Hannah went back to her family and finally was willing to eat again. When the family returned to their hometown, God remembered Hannah's words and allowed her and Elkanah to finally conceive a son. Hannah gave birth to a son who she named Samuel. His name means heard by God. Years later, when the boy was old enough, she finally returned to the tabernacle in Shiloh. When they arrived, Hannah brought her son to Eli the priest. Sir, do you remember me? Hannah asked. I am the very woman who stood here several years ago praying to the Lord. I asked the Lord to give me this boy and he has granted my request. Now I am giving him to the Lord and he will belong to the Lord his whole life. Hannah was vindicated. All her patience and endurance for all those years had finally paid off. She knew that no matter how many people judged her, God still listened to her and that was all that mattered. And right there, they all worshiped the Lord.